Okay, here we go. So, um, no numbers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I didn't go through one of these videos with you when you guys were watching them, so I want to go through a quick little kind of review on what I expect you to do for your homework. Then I'll review some of those homework problems, okay? So the quick little review is finding the x and, sorry, finding the vertical and the horizontal asymptotes, all right? Now remember, when we talked about our notes, we went through them and we um, uh, discussed them. What we're going to do is I'm going to go back through the notes again to kind of remind you of certain parts. Remember, we have a, we're talking about this quarter, or this chapter is rational functions. And we're dealing with rational functions, we're going to have a polynomial up top and a polynomial on the bottom, right? That's the type of rational functions we're going to be dealing with. Now remember, every polynomial is going to have a degree. We looked at, do you guys remember when I gave you like those definition of polynomial and you're like, this is so stupid, this is like, why do I need to know this? Well, are both of these polynomials? Yes, they are. Can, does, do both polynomials have a degree? Yes. This degree of this polynomial is really x to the 0, because anything raised to the 0 power is 1. So I don't write x to the 0, but I could, so I could see what my degree is. All right? What would be the degree of this? You'd have to FOIL it out, but you could notice that the degree of this, when multiplied out, is really, so we could rewrite this as 3x to the 0 times x squared minus 2x plus 1. Right? If you FOIL it out. So now you make sure it's in descending order. So looking at that, which degree um, is larger, in my numerator or in my denominator, the leading or with the degree of each polynomial? Which one is larger? Denominator. denominator. So whenever you have, whenever you have your the degree in your denominator is less than the degree in your numerator, which we said n is less than m. That was in your notes. We'll go over it again. Whenever you, that, your degree in the numerator is less than the degree in your denominator, your horizontal asymptote is y equals 0, always. Whenever the degree in the numerator is less than the degree in the denominator, your horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. All right? Now let's look at it. When is what happens, or let's look at this. What, what's the degree in my numerator? 2, right? What's the degree in my denominator? 2. So whenever you have your degrees are exactly the same, exactly the same, it's not always going to be the case of it's 1, but what now it is, is you take the leading coefficient. So this leading coefficient of your denominator is 1, right? So you take now the division of your leading coefficients. So the horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals 2. All right? Make sense? Then let's look at the third example. The third example. We now have the, the numerator, degree in my numerator is now larger than my horizontal asymptote. Okay? So there's, three, there's only three things we can have, right? It's either smaller, equal to, or greater. When you have your degree in the numerator is larger than the degree in the denominator, you do not have a horizontal asymptote. Okay? Yes? Um, well, remember, let's talk about what a horizontal asymptote is again, right? Remember, a horizontal asymptote is when your graph um, from is when your what your graph approaches on the horizontal axis. So, if it doesn't have a horizontal asymptote, then your graph doesn't approach a line, a, a horizontal line, right? It doesn't approach it, because remember we talked about f of x equals b, and we talked about you know a graph. So, what I'm saying is, if I don't have a horizontal asymptote, there's no line that my graph does not approach. Right? It doesn't approach it as we go to, um, as we go to infinity or negative infinity. It, the graph never approaches this line. However, when I have a horizontal asymptote that approaches 0, when it approaches 0, that means, or when the horizontal asymptote is equal to 0, that means my graph is going to approach that line. As we go to infinity, it's going to keep on getting closer and closer and closer to that, to that line. All right? And the same thing, if I change it to 2, now you just move that line up two, point, you know, two points and that it approaches it. Remember, your asymptote is going to be what your graph approaches as it goes to infinity or negative infinity. All right? Is everybody cool with horizontal? OK, good. So we'll do that for horizontal. 